These books sucked, and I'm going to talk to you about the ones I'm referring to here in a second. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got for you my 10 worst books I read in 2020. Uh, these books I kind of based it off of if I understood what the concept was, if it made sense, or if it's just a boring ass story that's what's going to crack this top 10. And yes, there are Stephen King books in this. And some of these may have been featured in the video I did two ago, which was least favorite or like biggest disappointments of 2020. So if you see any reoccurring titles, I'll try not to talk about them that much because a couple of them I did do in reading vlogs. And so I know I think two of them I go on a big banter on in those. So when I get to those books, I'll let you know. We'll do the good old fashioned up here and you can take a look at them. And so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so these are no, the first couple are in no like particular order of like books that suck. But once I kind of hit my top four or five, that it's a solid order of the, this is my least favorite book I read this year. So we're going to start it at number 10, and here we go. The first one I have is The Regulators by Richard Bachman, Stephen King. I put this on the list because it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I really didn't enjoy the ride towards the end. The, it, it feels like two separate stories are being told. Um, the first one is like this neighborhood gets attacked by a bunch of cars, like these people in cars, and like a lot of things start happening and it's weird. And then like a few pages later all of a sudden like you feel like there's just something completely changed and people are trapped in like a supermarket uh, or some other kind of building, a gas station I think it was. A lot of weird things happen, like, quick. Um, I put this, I will gladly label this as number 10, solely because after reading Desperation, I feel like when I reread this, this upcoming year, it's going to make more sense to me. I feel like I read them in the wrong order. Um, and if there isn't a specific order, and I'm just being dumb and just didn't understand this book, then so be it. But I think I needed to read Desperation before I read The Regulators. So once I reread this, um, I think it's going to get out of my worst books I read. But we'll see. So kicking off at number 10 is The Regulators. Next on my list is just, I don't think it's the genre for me. And that is The Colorado Kid by Stephen King. And it sucks because his next book that he's coming out with is called Later. And it's another hard case crime book that comes out in March 2021. Watch out for that in an upcoming video. But I just, I don't know, I didn't like following along with the story. There's these two guys talking to this girl and she's a reporter trying to like get the scoop on this guy named the Colorado Kid. And I, it just was boring. I didn't enjoy the story. Um, I tr I'm trying to remember what I read before I read this because I read this and another book in one day and I can't remember what the other book I read was that day. I partially feel like it was The Stand. Like I finished The Stand that day and I had like no effort to want to like... Or maybe it's three books. I might have finished The Stand, then read Carrie, and then I did this. I don't remember. Check out my Goodreads. Whichever one was right before this, that's the book that like drained me out to where I like had no effort to want to like read this book. And once it started, and it just kind of, it just didn't really get going for me. Just because of the whole, I, I don't know, it's about a crime. I mean, and, and that's the thing, is The Outsider is another type of crime book, and I really enjoyed it. Because it had that Stephen King, like, weird aspect of supernatural stuff. This is just, uh, I just didn't like it. So that's why this made my top ten. So that's... I wouldn't say number nine, but it's on my list. Colorado Kid. The next three books I'm going to talk about are on this list because I have no idea what the hell I read. Um, in terms of, I read the book and still was so utterly confused with what happened, I, I, I just didn't like it. The first one I'm going to talk about <clears throat> is Fever Dream by 
Samantha, Samantha, Samantha Schwebel. Oh, I'm sorry, Samantha. I was going to say Samantha. Fever Dream by Samantha. I vaguely understood some of it where there's some... Uh, there's a woman and something involving a kid and then there's some like... I, I don't remember. I, that's just how bad this was for me. My wife and I did this as a buddy read. I think she rated it kind of low too, but not as bad as me. But that's just because I, I just didn't... I, I just didn't understand it. I, I didn't get it. I feel like you're jumping kind of between timelines. I don't even know if that's true or not. If you read this book, just l let me know in the comments down below, like, if it made sense to you, and, like, what the heck it means. Because I... I don't know. My wife picked it because she heard some good things about it, and we read it, and I did not understand one damn thing about this book. Um, there's stuff about horses, I think, are involved in this. There's a horse on the cover. But I don't know what... I, I, I just... It was a short book. It was a quick read. But you can definitely tell that it was a short write and put together fast. So, I don't know. I really didn't like this book. If you enjoyed it, let me know why, because I'm very confused. Fever Dream by Samantha. I'm not going to try the last name again. Next on the list is a book that I think I had in a short story showdown. Um, I think it was in the first one or the second one. We'll, we'll look it up and we'll put it up here for you if you want to take a look at this. Um, and that is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. Uh, I have wanted to read Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl for a very long time. And that you'll see that on a list coming up soon too, 2021. But I wanted, I started with a short story from her, and I really wish I didn't. I was confused with what was going on, and like the ending was just weird. So I don't know. I I just didn't like the book. I, I I'm hoping Gone Girl is a lot better because obviously that's a higher rated book, and so we'll give that a try and we'll see uh, see what happens when I read that one next year. But yeah, The Grown Up, Gillian Flynn, not a good book in my opinion. Sorry. The next one I'm going to talk about is probably the most, like, messed up book I read this year. In terms of, it was just so out there and really weird. And that is Animal Farm by George Orwell. Holy shit, I got no idea what happened in this book. Um, things are jumping around a lot. Animals are talking. There's something about like a windmill that's like super important to these farm animals And then you jump in timelines and oh my god. I got no idea what happened um, The last line is also kind of weird. Yeah, the last thing is like 12 voices were shouting in anger and they were all alike No question now what had happened to the faces of the pigs the creatures outside look from pigs to man and from man to pig And from pig to man again, but already it was impossible to say which was which so all of a sudden, like, the animals, like, turned to human? Or did the humans turn into pigs? Ah. I don't know. The narrator also was, like, really weird in this book. He had, like, a really thick accent. So, this book was just way out there. Like, this is a book to read if you're, like, you're, like, doing stuff. So, I don't know. I thought it was messed up. I think I gave it, like, two stars. Again, a lot of these books should be on my Goodreads. Check that out, too. or that down below. But, yeah. Animal Farm, no idea what the hell I read. Um, I am also planning to read 1984 um, by him. Hopefully it's not as messed up. That's a higher rated book than this is. So, we'll see. But, yeah. Animal Farm, don't know what the hell it was. Oh, well. All right. So, we're at the top five. And these are in order of, like, least favorite to worst book ever. Um, one of them I don't have the physical copy of, so we're going to put a little picture up top when I get to it. Um, but we'll uh, we'll start this off at number five with Gwendy's Magic Feather by Richard Chismar. Gwendy's Magic Bo Button Box was a good book. It was weird, but it was good because Stephen King was also part of the book. And this, Richard Chismar takes it over and it looks like he just tried throwing a bunch of crap together that didn't make any sense. Um, you could definitely sense the presence of King not being here in this book. And it really was annoying. Um, I really hated it. And I'm, you know, it sucks that 
a sequel was written where King was part of the first one and it bombed. Um, that's like if he wrote The Talisman and Peter Straub and then just Peter Straub wrote Black House. I still got to read those two as well. But I, I don't know. I thought this book could have been better if King was still involved. Obviously anything King's involved with I think is going to be okay. Okay. But Grundy's Magic Feather, not a good book. I, it, like I said, you could sense he wasn't there and it really took a toll on the book in my opinion. So not a good book. Number five, worst books 2020, Gwendy's Magic Feather. The next one coming in at number four is The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. This was a really highly rated book. A lot of people said they liked this book. And there are a couple of people who said that it was bad. And I'm one of the people who thinks it sucked. Um, I didn't understand it whatsoever. Um, it just, it, it wasn't a book that made sense to me. Um, some people might make sense to, they were able to follow along with it, but I got lost. It feels like there's a bunch of stories mixed into one. The only, there's only like two things that I remember about this book. The first one is some dude looking down a ladder or on a ladder, looking through a fan into like looking at this chick and like looking at her tits or something like that, or her butt. I don't remember. And he kept saying something was going to happen when he did it. And I don't know what the hell was supposed to happen, but it just looked really bad. Sounded bad. Then the other thing is, uh, I think like a woman towards the end just bursts into an elk. Like, something happens and she just like, poof, she's an elk. Or something like that. It might be more graphic than what I just made it seem like. But I, I didn't get it. And this, I always say... If it's a book I didn't understand, when I reread it, it might make sense. I do not plan on rereading this book. Or any of these other three I have coming up. Because they were just bad. And, I don't know, The Only Good Indians was just not good. Um, and I really enjoyed his short story, Night of the Mannequins. That was on a previous episode of shocking, or uh, short stories. My top ten short stories of 2020. Night of the Mannequins. We'll have that right up here if you want to take a look at that one. But the only good Indians, uh, it just wasn't good to me. Like I said, those are the only two scenes that popped up in my head. And obviously there's like three, four hundred, there's about two hundred something pages here. So, I don't know. Not a good book for me. So, number four, the only good Indians. So, two out of the next three are ones I ranted for a long time on in previous videos. And I'm going to jump right into number three, um, and that is The Bright Lands. Uh, I think this is a Gabby Reed's video. Uh, I think it was either part one or part two, but that's going to be up here, so you can take a look at that video. Um, I'm bummed out because she really enjoyed the book, and I just had no interest in it whatsoever. Um, it's something about a football team. And, like, they go in-depth with, like, almost each player on the team, plus other people. And so there's too many characters to keep track of. I think two of them have got the same name, but they spell it differently. So I got lost with who the heck they're even talking about. But I, I don't, I didn't like it. I didn't understand it. And, you know, like I said, I rant about this for a, a while in that video. So take a look at the video, Gabby Reads, part one or part two, whichever one it is, we'll have it posted up there. So not a good book to me. And I'm sorry, Gabby, but it didn't work for me. Coming in at number two is Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is another one I did a video on. It was my Riley Sager analysis um vlog which we'll have that posted up here as well um, in my opinion he got better as he was writing um, this first book was a bomb I did not like this um, I, the final girl genre I'm realizing is probably not for me because there's another one um, the final the last final girl which was by Stephen Graham Jones another short story didn't like that one either so the final girl genre I don't think is something that floats my boat, and I really didn't like it. Um, which is fine, you know. Some people don't like Stephen King, which is fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You can say what you want. I just, 
didn't like the final girl genre, and this book was not good to me. The next three he wrote were really good. You'll see one of them in my top 15 greatest books of 2020, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up next week. I, I just didn't like it. I did not like this book. Like I said, he got better as he wrote, so... But, yeah, number two. So, something was worse than this one. And I'm going to tell you what it is in just a second. But, yeah, not a good book. Number one is That Left Turn on Albuquerque by Scott Phillips. The, I, I don't even remember anything about this book, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I got this at Barnes & Noble as more or less kind of like a cover buy. The back sounded interesting at the time. And once I actually had it and I read the book, I, I like, it's like out of my mind with what even happened in the book because of how bad it was. I, I just like got rid of it. I wanted nothing to do with it. I, I, I can't even try and remember anything that did happen in the book. So if this is a book you read and you liked it, tell me why. Because I had no interest in this book. It was brutal. I, I didn't get it. I'm sorry, Scott Phillips. Not the book for me. So, that comes in at number one. as my worst book I read in 2020. Alright guys, so these were the worst books I read in 2020. They were... I, I just didn't like them. Hot garbage. Sorry, not sorry. Except for the regulators. Maybe they might get out of this list one day. But, we'll see. But, these books were not good to me. Stay tuned for next week, because we're going to have my top 15 favorite books of 2020. I know that's kind of cheating, but I couldn't fucking narrow it down to 10. I'm sorry. Sue me. I couldn't do it. So. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. What are some of your worst books you read this year? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.